not to get any more rain today is Fort Plain. The people there are still cleaning up after last Friday's floods. And in just about an hour, Senator Chuck Schumer will get a look at the devastation firsthand. He'll be in that area. Craig Smith joins us live now. He is in Fort Plain right now. And Craig, what are you finding today? Well, Liz, in some spots in Fort Plain, you'd think they're pretty close to getting back to normal, which really isn't the case even in those spots. And then in the spots like the one I'm in on Abbott Street, there's a long, long way to go for these people to recover, if they'll recover. They may not recover here. This slab I'm standing on used to be a trailer here. I'm sure by now most people watching have heard the story of Ethel Healy. Her trailer used to be here. She used to live here. And she was inside her trailer when the waters came through here early Friday morning and it, she was swept away along with her home. The, her body was found Monday. This is just one snapshot, uh, of perhaps you know the, the worst, uh, saddest snapshot here in Fort Plain because of the loss of life. But all over here, and you look behind, there are you know, one, two, three, there's several houses here. The one man who lived in one told me that uh, his family lives here and that several houses here on Abbott Street are condemned. It's for that reason that the Senator Chuck Schumer is coming here this afternoon. That's one of the reasons he's coming here. He's expected around 1 o'clock to talk to us about his push for federal assistance. He wants to make sure that FEMA does all that it can, all that it's authorized to do, to provide individual assistance, monetary assistance for people here in Fort Plain, and also to help the businesses rebuild. Uh, Healy's daughter runs a bed and breakfast in Fort Plain. Her business could be shot for the rest of the year, uh, much like Lake George depends on summer. Imagine a business like a bed and breakfast in Fort Plain. She needs the summer. People come to a pretty spot like this. They want to spend a weekend. And I'll show you some of the damage that uh, was caused over here, just a little bit more on the other side of the creek. Here's the water that overflowed its banks on Friday, much lower now, of course. And they have a long way to go, as you can see. One uh, positive sign, there are lots of good things to see here. Actually, this is a long pan, Dan. This is Dan Seymour, my photographer. But let me just show you this picture as Dan turns around here. Hope you don't get too, too seasick watching that. This is a great story. We'll tell you on tape later. These women are from St. Johnsville. They're not with the Red Cross. They're just people who live nearby. And there must be a couple dozen bag lunches there that they've been walking around just looking for people who might need a lunch. And the house I was just in front of had a man in there over, looking over some of his belongings. And he's one of the people here who took in some of the kindness from people here in the community. And I imagine this will be going on most of the day, at least until the... How are you doing? You having good luck? Yeah. yeah. What, how many people have you been able to help? Yeah. In the last five days, St. Paul's Lutheran Church in St. Johnsville, we have delivered close to 1,500 to okay. 2,000 bag lunches. That's, since Saturday. What prompted you, what drove you to want to do it in this manner? My sister-in-law and I came on, down on Saturday and just looked around and saw the devastation and didn't know what we could do to help. And people said, you know what we need? We need some, some food here at our house that's, you know, down. We need some water. So we went to Price Chopper. We grabbed bread and peanut butter and jelly and sandwiches. And you're getting it done. And we're getting it done. Well, we'll catch up to you later. I know there are people who will be looking for you with these. Um, we'll catch up to you later. Just one example of uh, some of the good deeds being done here, and it's being done by regular people. Not the federal government, although the federal government certainly has its role here, and Schumer will be here later to make sure that one part of the government does all it can to help not just the people on Abbott Street, but all over Fort Plain who need it. We're live in Fort Plain. Craig Smith, CBS 6 News.